thoughts for the notes and the nods because I wanna Karen, we're here with the Exceed and Excel. You can't say that, Colt, that we purchased at the Inglis Easter Sale. He's been in your Caulfield stable now for a week. What's he been up to? Uh, he just did uh, a couple evens on Tuesday morning. Uh, just, just quiet today, you know. They're just basically getting into the swing of things. Um, they'll go through the barriers on Friday and, uh, you know, they'll just stride up a furlong. Uh, just teach them to break from the gates and just basically they're getting in the swing of things and uh, possibly next week just they'll have an easy gallop on, on Tuesday and then do a bit more again on the Friday and that'll, that would probably nearly see them out. It's uh, really exciting to have them here. They've had a faultless breaking in campaign and they've come in in fantastic order. Um, he's, a, he's a big strong forward colt um, and he's handling his workload well which is great to see. Yeah he is. Uh, Typical of his sire, exceeding Excel, you know, they're real natural racehorses. He's, he comes in, he eats up, he jumps on the bridle and does his work. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with them. You know, they've just settled straight in and uh, I would say, you know, he'll be going to the races as, a very, as an early two-year-old, you would think. All positive reports and obviously coming in now, it's a really good grounding for him to try and get him to the races early. Yeah, they'll, they'll just be on a, um, you know, or this horse especially, they're... They're sort of in for a month, uh, six weeks, out for a month, six weeks, and just keep them on that rotation. And, and uh, you know, I'd say, you know, getting getting into the, you know, later spring, you know, they'll, they'll be starting to rock along, jumping out, and um, hopefully going to the races. I can walk the land.